Why do you add spices to something? Why do you season anything? It's to make it better, isn't it? That's why you add salt, that's why you add pepper, that's why you add whatever it is you like to add spices and so on. You add it because without it, it feels like there's something missing, or it can be improved. It can be improved. It may be edible, and one person might say, it's fine, it's fine, but it can be improved. And that is what she wants him to come in and see, that she, she has made something. Her life, this is it. This is the graces of her life. She wants him to taste of what she has become. She wants him to taste of what his grace has produced in her life. And so it's pomegranate juice, yes, and as delightful as that is, there, there are other graces that come in, other spices that must be added. And they enhance the flavor, beloved. They enhance the flavor. So when you see someone who's just saved, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see someone just converted. There it is. It's plain old pomegranate juice, as it were. Right? It's good, and you can enjoy it. And you can appreciate it. But you don't want them to stay there. You want them to grow. Oh, flourish, believer. Oh, enjoy the grace of God. Go on with God. Add in the graces. Add them all in. Look at the fruit of the Spirit and say, I want them all. And I want as much of them as I can handle. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. I want all of that. I want it all. Because when I have all of that, then I emanate something. And Christ tastes it. And it's a delight to Him. It is. He enjoys it. 